Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. This video is about a high school hair policy that is certainly racist. Let's go to the story. Family, before I get into this story, I just want to bring up something though. These beautiful sisters right here with their braided hairstyle, it reminds me so much of the ancient Egyptians because as we all have seen in the murals, in the base reliefs, in the stone artifacts, the ancient Egyptians always portrayed themselves wearing this traditional hairstyle, which is braids. White people can never, ever claim to have been the ancient Egyptians when they've never, never worn braids as a traditional hairstyle like black people. So, I bring this up to say that this is one of the reasons why I believe that they're trying to make black people run from our actual hairstyle because it reminds them so much of our greatness. That's right, it reminds them of how we were back in ancient Egypt. These beautiful sisters here, they could be pictured right on one of the base reliefs. They look just like the ancient Egyptians on the stelas. That's right. Their skin complexion as well as their hairstyle. That's why Europeans can never, ever claim to have been the ancient Egyptians. Even though they try to lie and they lie through their teeth about it. This reminds me way back in the day when I first came across um, this issue of hair. When back in the day my aunt who was a stewardess she couldn't wear braids in her hair and I and I asked why and it was and I was a young kid back then I didn't know any better but that was my first stint of knowing what racism was about and how other people were trying to control what we look like and how we dress and what type of styles we have they don't want us to be who we are they want us to be like them I just want to say before I get into the story, could you imagine if African people told white people, no, you can't have that flat hair. It stinks. When you wash it, it smells like a poodle. You know what I'm saying? Could you imagine if Africans told white people, no, we don't like that stringy hair. It doesn't look right. It's just flat. You can't do anything with it. Um, do something with it. Maybe cut your hair off. Could you imagine if African people were like that? But the thing is, is we're not, because we're not petty like they are. We're not petty like white people are. That's right, they're petty people. But I just wanted to bring that up because these beautiful sisters remind me of the ancient Egyptians. And with that, let's go into this story. So... Like many schools across the country, Mystic Valley Regional Charter School in Malden, Massachusetts has a dress and grooming code. Well, of course schools do. They usually say you have to wear dark colored pants or, or a certain type of shirt. But since when does that go into hairstyles? This is a racist policy. It's so foul and nasty. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I digress. Okay. But this one bans the wearing of braids and extensions, a measure that many students and parents are calling out as discriminatory and racist. As black students wearing their hair in braids have been issued detention and suspensions for violations that seem to target them specifically. And that's very true, because it does target black people specifically. In a statement, the school has said of its policy, quote, one important reason for our student success is that we purposefully promote equity by focusing on what unites our students and reducing visible gaps between those of different means. What the hell does that mean? I, they try to use these slick words and terms. So they're, they're saying that this has to do with um, the success of students. Because of their hairstyle. Good grief. These people are so freaking petty. It's unreal. So, no. It doesn't have anything to do with their success. Not at all. 
Hair does not do that. These people claim to have high IQs, but once again, they show what little minds they have. And they're always, they're always revealing themselves. If you just open your eyes and pay attention, black folks, instead of constantly running up behind them, kissing their ass, and believing every single word that comes out of their mouth. Black people, we need to wake up and smell the freaking coffee. In a, okay. They go on to say, our policies, including those governing student appearance and attire, foster a culture that emphasizes education rather than style, fashion, or materialism. That's some hogwash. That's bullshit. It really is. It's such bullshit. Our policy on hair extensions, which tend to be very expensive, which actually that has nothing to do with the school, is consistent with and a part of the educational environment that we believe is so important to our students' success. <coughs> Shit. But mothers of black and biracial children attending the school say... What the policy actually does is punish their children for their race and how it's reflected in their hairstyling choices. The school's policy explicitly bans braids that have extensions or any additional hair woven into them. You see, they are just insecure that beautiful black women make themselves even more beautiful when they enhance their look. They just don't like that because they're jealous. You see, because, look, the white girls can't do that. Their hair just lays flat and ugly. You know, They can't do nothing with it. And then when they curl it to make put a permanent, what are they doing? They're trying to make their hair look like ours. So they have to do whatever they can to make themselves feel good about themselves. That's what this is about, in my opinion. In an interview with the Boston Globe, Colleen Cook, who is white, said that her twin 15-year-old daughters, Deanna and Maya, who are black, have served multiple detentions and face suspension, all because of their hair. White people, you guys are so sad. Don't even freaking come in my comment section with your bullshit racist crap. No one wants to hear it. It really does not bother me. Believe me, you're just trash. Again, you're jealous because your hair is flat and ugly. And it smells when you wash it. It stinks. And so, I'm not going to make this video any longer than I have to. This story is, is so petty, it's unreal. But you know, even black African sisters in South Africa, in their own country are facing racist policies from the white minority who runs the schools out there. Because they they're saying, they're claiming that their natural hair, when they wear afros, oh, it gets in poor Susie's face. Poor Susie can't hear, see the board because of the afro. You know, and they make these stupid, petty claims. Because our hair is not flat. And it doesn't stink when you wash it. So they're going to come in my section and say, oh, you're racist. You're no bullshit. This policy is racist. Go talk to other white people about these type of policies before you even come barking up my tree. I don't want to hear it. Go to your own neighborhoods and talk to other white people about their fucking racism before you come talking to me about it. I don't want to hear it. Anyways, I'm just sick of this shit. Every time we turn around and a look in the news or whatever we see more and more petty bullshit from Europeans it's so pathetic you guys are the pettiest people on the planet earth but anyways these beautiful sisters right here once again they're wearing traditional hairstyles of the ancient Egyptians and that's something white people you can never take away and you don't wear that traditional hairstyle you were never ancient Egyptians you were never those Africans in Egypt. Never. And the people who live there now, those are invaders and foreigners. They're not the real 
ancient Egyptians who built up the civilization back in the BC era. Nope, not even the same. Just like in America, we're not the same Native American Indians here either. We're a melting pot of Americans. The same way is how Egypt is today. You got a different set of people living there. So you dumb shits who come and ask me, well, what happened to the black people there? You idiots. If you had a little bit of a brain and your IQ was high instead of you just claiming it, then you would have figured it out. Anyways, I'm out.